point, only through God. I should have been dead a hundred times in my life. But for some reason, I'm alive today. I am not forsaken. I've been struck down, but not destroyed. I might be struck down right now, but I'm not destroyed. I'm going to get back up. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep giving God more. I'm going to stay focused on what He has for me in life. I will not be destroyed. I will not let the devil win. The devil is already defeated. God has this earth under control. I know that as I walk out this door and into the unknowns of life today, I am victorious in advance. As my mind and, my, and fear creeps in and the different things of life come against me, I just got to slow myself down and stop for a minute and say, no, that is not what the Bible says of me. I've seen God pull me through much worse than this. I will not be destroyed. I will not, you know what, I'm not going to give the devil the pleasure of taking me out. Uh Uh-uh. When it's my time to go, all glory to God, he did it, not the other guy. We have been hard pressed, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, not forsaken. Struck down, and not destroyed. God needs me cracked. God needs a man and a woman with scars on them. God could have made us all perfect and we could have stayed perfect forever. But due to sin, we have become chipped. We have become wobbly. But maybe we're not holding water anymore. And you know what? <clears throat> what Paul was saying was that's okay. Because as I'm a broken man, as, as the chips of life come against me, I have to turn to God. I have to rely on Him. He he has to pull me back together. He's going to be... Because if I'm perfect and made whole and and I'm great all the time, what reliance shall I have on my Lord? None. So it's through my cracks. It's through the situations of life that have come my way. That God can be glorified through me. I know how messed up I am. And yet God continues to work in me. God's changing the person that I am. Even though I have these thoughts and do these things. So, what what Paul's saying here is, because we're such weak vessels, earthen pots, God gets all the glory not us. We cast aside the things that we may achieve in life we can only thank God for. The fact that we're standing in this room here today we can only thank God for. When we get home and we go get something to eat, the fact that I have shoes on my feet I can only thank God for. Because I know if Joel tried to do all these things in my power, it would be a complete disaster. Because I know the things I've done behind the wheel of my life. And it ain't turned out great. So, I sew him a little more. And a little more. And a little more. And, and I sit in the back seat of life, buckled into his favor, into his grace, into his mercies. And, and I begin to relax more with him behind the wheel. I have more peace. I have, I have more time to enjoy life. Even though everything isn't exactly where I think it should be. I begin to stop telling God where to go and going where He wants me to go. But I'll tell you one thing. I've got a God. Even with all my cracks and chips taken out of my life, I've got a God with a big old tube of super glue who can put the little things back together. Who can heal the broken heart 
who can find the little chip that fell out off the floor and takes the time to work on me and fix things. Am I still cracked? Do, do my scars still show? Yes. Because I need to see those so my reliance is on Him. But He'll fix and, and slide the pieces back together. If you, if you get knocked down and you lose part of your self, He'll fit it back in. But I need to recognize and understand that I can't do this alone. It's only through Christ that I'm able to breathe another breath. So how can I take the glory for His things? This is all about God. This is all about Him. It's about us releasing our needs, our wants, our desires. Because I believe that God's wants, God's needs, God's desires are far more amazing than what Joel wants. My mind is so limited to the things of this earth when he walks in.